Mr. President, Nouri Shaheen is here. Thank you. I need to handle this one on my own. I understand. I know why you have called me here, sir. I know you have to send me back. I'll be honest. There has been a great deal of pressure to do just that. I understand. President Tehran is right. I am a revolutionary. Are you telling me that you were part of the attempted coup? No, sir. But I want Tehran removed. Democratically, yes, but removed. Men like that. The only thing they fear more than bullets is the ballot box. Yes, and the pursuit of democracy is the worthiest of causes. But like your own Nathan Hale said, I only regret I have but one life to give to my country. That's correct. And he was a teacher like you. Please. I want you to know that you are safe here in my country. I admire what you're doing, and I can only hope that someday soon you'll be able to return home. Thank you, sir. No, thank you. I looked into Peter Podick, sir, the guy Leo pushed. He works for a charity called the Ankara Trust. It funnels money into Tehran's regime. Wait a second, you're telling me that this whole thing with Leo was a setup? And that President Tehran was behind it? Yes, sir. The charity is run by an Emery Sadiq. Mr. President Sadiq has a 17-year-old daughter, and her name is Sybil, sir. Leo's girlfriend. She's part of this. Yes, sir. <laughs> 